Hello, dear students. In order to keep our health fit and fine, we need to keep our surroundings free from pollution. So today, I am going to give an introduction about environmental pollution, that to air pollution. Most of you are having the habit of going for walking or jogging in the morning. Is this ambience of the morning is same throughout the year? No. That too, when it comes to winter season, winter morning, so you, you could see the differences in the morning ambience compared to other days. So if you are going for a jogging or walking, so uh, is everything is normal? No. There are many certain changes which are getting unnoticed from us. So do we think about those? No. So if you just recall in this morning walking or jogging, see one, if you are walking or one person is walking here, see smoke is coming due to the burning of some waste uh, leaves of the uh, trees or uh, any other wood material. And uh, in the morning due to cleaning process, the air was very dusty. And uh, in the morning only the vehicles are moving, the vehicular pollution is coming, that is uh, tail pile emissions and uh, the uh, haziness is there. Uh, you cannot see uh, certain things uh, from a uh, distance due to the uh, this haziness. Is our atmosphere or air is the same? It, uh, it was there earlier? No, it is totally changing due to the faster pace of uh, the development what we are uh, uh, looking in the name of developmental activities many things have been taken place in atmosphere see smoke vehicles dust uh, and smog is these things are not going to cause deleterious hazard on human health yes definitely they will be causing a deleterious hazard on human health so uh, the air we breathe and the water we drink and the land we live everything is getting polluted due to the uh, developmental activities. It means in the name of developmental activities, uh, the mankind is uh, running behind all these comforts. So that has created the maximum of the air pollution. So now, uh, when it comes to the case of water, you can see just by looking at the water, whether it is clean water or uh, unclean water, so that you will be uh, taking the decision of refusing or uh, accepting it. When it comes to the case of air, you cannot distinguish which is good air, which is bad air. You cannot say that I, I will breathe only good air. I will not breathe bad air. No, it is not there in our control. See, because uh, the air ambience, whenever it is getting polluted, so this air will be rushing, uh, spreading everywhere. So you cannot distinguish. So that's why So it is going to be acting as a silent killer. The polluted air acts like a invisible silent killer without our knowledge. So hence, there is a need to keep our ambience free from pollutants. So this air is a natural virtue on earth, which sustains the life activities, lively activities. So what is the composition of this air? So this air is having the composition nitrogen 78%, oxygen 20%, underwater vapor 1%, and inert gases mainly argon 0.97% and remaining percentage of gases 0.3%. So now this uh, air quality is declining due to the all the developmental activities which we have seen. Not only those, still many more are there. So the healthy ambience should have the oxygen percentage of 20%, which is not there in maximum of the metropolitan cities. It has come down to 15%, 11% in that too, in some areas of the cities. That too, when it, come, when it comes to the case of uh, Delhi, uh, you might have seen the documentaries which are made with respect to the air quality analysis, how the oxygen level has come down. It's all because of the pollution. So uh, if you just uh, look into this picture, you can see the, uh, the uh, lush green, which is there and which is with the uh, small road and uh, this small uh, hut uh, for the living purpose and this small vehicle which was started in the early of this uh, developmental stage. So now when you look into this, uh, uh, it is slowly getting cha changed. Now see, when you look into this, uh, uh, the olden system to the present day system, a lot of transition has been taken place. 
what is this transition say industrialization has started so emission of gases from industries then the vehicular movement has started more it means it is leading to the air pollution tile pile exhaust gases are coming more air pollution is there then in place of uh, the small hut uh, like uh, habitat places now it has uh, occupied the uh, multi storied building culture and these roads have become so wide and uh, due to this uh, lot of trees were cut nothing is there now so like this all these are leading to the deterioration in the quality of air so then what is air pollution so air pollution is uh, defined as it is the condition where the quality of air declines due to the presence or introduction of contaminants in air having harmful effects on living organisms and environment is called as air pollution so all this put together will leading to the air pollution where do these pollutants coming from is it just because of man made activities no if you ask the question for yourself so certainly uh, it is not only with man made there are nature made also what are the sources of air pollutants so mainly we can classify it into man made sources natural sources what are these man made sources and natural sources let us see this natural let first let us come to the natural sources so here uh, forest fire okay then uh, volcanic eruption then dust which is rising due to natural wind action so like this uh, all these pollens okay uh, these are all uh, leading to the natural sources which is leading to air pollution and man made sources burning of fossil fuels for the running of our vehicles and industries burning of firewood for cooking purpose and transportation Uh, with respect to all these aspects so all this leading to man made air pollution so this uh, uh, sources of uh, air pollutants can be viewed in other per perspectives what is that so certain uh, sources are uh, uh, actually basically located at only one place they will keep on emitting the uh, air pollutants they are called as stationary sources these stationary sources are located in a particular place like for example like any industry industry cannot move anywhere it will be there once it is installed so it will be keep on emitting its uh, pollutants uh, okay uh, from its during its manufacturing process so that is why it is called as point source it means it cannot move anywhere so other sources mobile source it is means vehicular movement it will be keep on moving it is not stationary at one place so that is why it is called as non point source so this air pollutants when it comes to uh, their uh, physical uh, characteristics is this air pollutants are only gaseous you may have this question no this air pollutants exist in three states of matter that is solid liquid and gaseous state what are this uh, you may get the question uh, air pollutant means it should be in the form of gaseous not like that so many things which are there in solid liquid all this lead to the air pollution the solid means pollen particles uh, are no we naturally generated and uh, during mining activities dust which will be rising in mining areas okay and wind action then uh, the aerosols that is sprays which is uh, due to various activities okay then next is uh, uh, the gases which are uh, produced in na nature due to natural action or due to man made action all these will be put together will lead to the uh, air pollution it means this air pollutants will be existing in all these three states of matter which will be there in the suspended condition leading to air pollution do you know according to who air pollution is a major risk to environmental health it means the outdoor air in the both cities and rural areas was estimated to cause around 3 million premature deaths worldwide in 2012 statistics it means uh, you you can gauge uh, how to what extent the air pollution can kill the living beings that uh, human beings uh, premature death means before life average life span is there no before that only people will be dying that is why it is called as premature death so if you look at this uh, pictures it is self explanatory which is uh, depicting the uh, extent of air pollution which is taking place in the outdoor areas of both rural cities and rural areas so far you have seen uh, the outdoor air pollution which is leading to all these problems 
uh, if you ask the question for yourself is our home is safe uh, it is is it free from uh, pollution no it is also source of pollution in many ways uh, if you have uh, noticed the things so let us see what are the sources of uh, indoor air pollution which is happening in our home only so the fire would be used for cooking purpose and uh, the spray what we use for uh, perfume spray or uh, in insect killing sprays etc okay all this will be leading to uh, the air pollution indoor air pollution and the paints and varnishes we use for our decorative purpose so this will be leading to air pollution and another source as dust or sheet which is used for roofing purpose and the cleaning materials chemicals we use for the cleaning purpose in our domestic uh, utility that is also leading to air pollution this is uh, which is which is happening inside the uh, home so similarly uh, when it comes to the other aspects of uh, home indoor air pollution so poor ventilation that is also another reason though we are using all this if the ventilation is pro not proper then it will uh, lead to the accumulation of the pollutants which is generated in the indoor that will be there inside only and, and when it comes to the office so total entire office space is totally closed and where it is all the time running with ac so there also there is no uh, provision for uh, air free air natural air to enter and exit the ambience of the office that is also another reason then uh, pollens which is generated due to natural action and the hairs of pets uh, fungi parasites bacteria and many allergens generated due to natural and uh, man made actions and uh, cigarette smoking in city areas or wherever so yeah, and especially in rural areas the major contributor to air pollution is the firewood they use for cooking purpose cow dung and charcoal okay all this sometimes you might have seen uh, in some of the rural houses where they use the firewood for cooking their uh, inner uh, where they use this uh, firewood for cooking their kitchen area is totally become uh, the shade of the walls and all it has become dark and due to you know to accumulation of the carbon soot material and all like this this is the uh, the happening due to the uh, improper practices of cooking in rural areas so when it comes to the air pollution can this uh, air pollution begin only inside the house or it will be drawn from outside both are responsible so when we are speaking about this air pollution uh, uh, we need to uh, know about uh, one uh, disaster which has taken place in 1984 december at bhopal that is uh, uh, leakage of uh, methyl isocyanate gas from union carbide Uh, company so that has uh, swallowed several thousands about 10000 plus life it has swallowed overnight so you can see, you could see through this uh, picture how this has uh, taken the many lives when this uh, lethal gas leaking took place at bhopal so that time those who have inhaled this lethal gas so they got their biological system damaged it means muscles gastrointestinal neurological eyes brains lungs especially lungs first basically because that is the uh, major the thing when they inhale it goes to lungs then it it, it has uh, spread it to the entire parts of the body so then it has uh, killed many lives about 10000 plus people have died and about 5 lakh people are suffered due to various uh, health problems which is created due to this uh, methyl isocyanate gas so now in this chapter uh, we will be discussing about the major air pollutants and what are their sources and what are their harmful effects and uh, what is the prevention and control methods in order to stop them in order to minimize them in the name of development our environment around us has changed drastically so we need to keep our environment safe and healthy in order to sustain the life activities natural activities taking place and of course see when the pollution is made from nature that is natural made nature itself can cure nature itself can cure so mother nature has that capacity but when it is created by mankind more so it is uh, uh, 
very difficult to restore it back. We will discuss furthermore in detail about all these aspects in the coming sessions. Thank you.